So basically I will say I want to create a Spring Boot web project. Okay, so you can see it has given you the entire code. So if you see this, you will get the entire source code and this is amazing. You can simply say explain, it will explain the code for you. In 2010, the last year of my college, basically we were doing a project and then we were getting stuck somewhere and we were not able to actually build the product in the time given to us. And then one day I was talking to my team members and we were discussing, hey, you know, uh, why we are wasting so much of energy building this product because in future a software is going to build a software. It was just a joke from my side and I read it somewhere that in future it will be all AI. I'm talking about 2010 and then that's done there. Now here we have the AI, a gen AI who can build a software for you. It's not perfect yet but it's almost there. Now here a software is going to create a software. I mean, that's what we are thinking, right? See, the thing is last year when ChatGPT got very famous and everyone started talking about Gen AI, talking about AI, how it's going to change the world. And then even before that, even ChatGPT got famous, uh, GitHub came up with Copilot. And I had my own issues with the Copilot because we were not sure how exactly Copilot is generating the code. Maybe they are using some public repositories. Will it have issues with the IPs or will it have issues with the code copying from someone else? And not just me, a lot of people talked about uh, things are going wrong on from GitHub side, but then they don't even care to reply to those things. And now, few days back, there was an event from OpenAI and they, they talked about a lot of new things coming up, uh, new versions, new editions of their models. And then just after that, GitHub, had their own presentation talking about the Copilot and uh, again, it's not new for them. In fact, I'm using Copilot from last one month on a paid paid subscription. Even before that, last year also I was using Copilot for some time and I was a bit happy about it, the way it was generating code, but now they have introduced a new feature. In fact, I wanted, I wanted to talk about this tool last month itself, but I was quite busy. So I thought it's the right time now because I can show you some new things. Okay. Now, when I say uh, software is going to build a software and we are not perfect, we are not there yet, is because, see, whatever Gen I is at this point, it is helping you as a developer to build projects, okay? It's not a replacement of you, it's a helping hand. There's a concept of pair programming where one project will be done by two people. So let's say if you're building a feature, you'll be having two people working on the same machine, that's pair programming. It's not like you have two members on a team and you're working separately, that's not pair programming. Pair programming is two people, one machine, and then you're coding. But of course you will say, how two people can able to code on the same machine? Of course not, that's not possible. But what is possible is, there will be a concept of driver and navigator. So who is driver? Someone who has a hold on a keyboard. So if, I'm, if you're typing a code, you are the driver. And the person next to you is a navigator. So he or she will mention what need to be done next and you can do this, you can brainstorm, you can discuss what need to be done. And that's how pair programming works. And of course you can switch roles or driver becomes navigator after some time. Now what if the navigator or the driver will be replaced by AI? Okay, we were talking about it's not going to replace developers. Partially, yes. And now I don't need two people. Even if I want to do pair programming, I just I can just be one person. I can build a product with the help of pair programming, but that is AI pair programming. And that's what uh, the co-pilot, and it, this is not the only option. We have Code Whisperer, which I want to make a video. Uh, I just forgot my credentials for Code Whisperer. I will get that and we'll make a video on that. I also heard about Cursor. I want to know your feedback in the comments. Uh, what you have used and how well it is suiting you. But Copilot is fun as of now. So I got a paid version of this. So if you can see, it talks about different things, but this is basically a AI pair programmer for you. So they have a pricing as well. I'm into an individual plan. You can try it out. In fact, there's also an option of trial. Uh, try it out and let me know how it works on a trial version. But since I'm using only for testing purpose, not for the actual development, uh, I went for the individual, but I think if you are building a real product, you have to use businesses because it should also check uh, the security vulnerabilities and other stuff. And uh, I've not explored the other two. Let's work with the individual. Now, why I'm saying this is amazing. So let me show you the code I'm talking about. So let's say I am into VS Code and I want to build a project. Now, AI can help you to write the code. 
uh, let's say if you want to add, to add a new feature in your project, you can simply mention that in a comment that this is what you want and AI will generate a code for you. But now we got the chat GPT inside the copilot. Okay, not exactly chat GPT, but a chatting feature inside the copilot. So you can see in my VS code, I already have a copilot. I will show you how do we get this extension, but see the magic. So I will ask the copilot to create a project for me and let's see how it works. So I will say, uh, so if I want to create a new project, I will say new. Okay, so what I want. So basically I will say, I want to create a Spring Boot web project for, let's say I want to do it for student management. I mean, you can create an e-commerce website as well, but let me say student management system uh, using H2 database and some dummy data. So basically if you're using Spring Boot with H2, we can have a dummy data in data.sql. I think it should create that dummy data. And I want to write test cases as well. So I will say test cases, okay? So when I say enter, now if I ask you to do the same thing, it will take some time for you to create a project, right? As a student or if you're new to Java, maybe it will take a day. For an experienced developer, it might take one or two hours to do all the setup done, or maybe half an hour, depending upon the experience level. But you can see uh, with the help of ChatGPT, it says it is creating a workspace. It will take some time generating the workspace preview. Okay, so you can see it has given you the entire code. So if you see this, you will get the entire source code. And this is amazing, okay? Uh, I, know, I don't know how, how, how should I explain this to you, but getting a project structure is important is because when you build a project, if you have a logic to implement, if you get the project structure ready, you can start working. At least here, you got a structure, the skeleton of your project ready. Now you might be saying, hey, we can do this with chat GPT as well, right? You can just simply get the code. See, that's the thing. When you get the code from the chat GPT, you manually have to create a project and paste all the code. And a lot of people used to say, you know, uh, way back when uh, Stack Overflow was very famous. Now it's still, it's very famous, but still we prefer to use ChatGPT to solve our problems. But the thing is, when you talk about Stack Overflow, people used to say, you know, what's the what's job of a developer? You simply copy the code from the Stack Overflow, paste it in your project. See, copying and pasting is simple, but from where to copy and where to paste it, that's what makes you a developer. Not everyone can do that. In the same way, if you talk about AI, AI is not a replacement. AI is a tool which you can use to enhance your productivity. But yes, if, if there's a team of five, maybe you just need two people now to complete the project. And that's why, you know, you should always upgrade yourself. So people who are not using AI might be using, might be getting replaced soon by the people who are going to use AI. Okay, so you can see we got a project structure. I will say create workspace in the same folder say set as a parent folder and you can say it is creating a project it will take some time because it is generating all this code and storing in my files here at this point you can see it only has two files and one folder and one file it will create more files it will take some time and it will give you the entire project structure it, and vs code is not the only option you can also do that in intellij idea so this chat feature uh, it's available for vs code for everyone in a beta version but if you are using IntelliJ, I don't have my IntelliJ open. So if you use IntelliJ, it is available for preview basis and you have to request for it. So you have to just go to Copilot, search for Copilot JetBrains and you can get into waiting list. I just got the access in the morning. So if I say I want to create a new project, let's say demo. So you can do the same thing. I think you can, it will not create a project for you. Let me see. No, there's no option of creating a project, but it does have an option of creating a test cases, uh, simplify the code, uh, explain the code. So I will, I will show, that, show you that in some time. Maybe the, code, the video will be lengthy. I don't care. I just want to see how everything is working out. Okay, you can see it is creating the files and th at this point, these files have been created. So what I will do is till the time it is doing this work, I will go back to my IntelliJ and let me write some code here. So I also have a copilot here, configured. So I can simply say, and I will show you how to install those plugins in both the application. So let's say I want to find if a number is prime or not. Let's go over a very simple example. Check the number is prime or not. Whatever your logic is, you can just mention that in a comment. 
and you can see it will start giving the code. So you just have to say enter tab. Is it generating? Yes. Tab. Come on, I want to print the output as well. It's not giving that. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes it's it is a glitch. So you can see earlier it was not giving when I say enter, it is giving me the code. So basically this is the code for the prime number, right? So if I run this, uh, you will be able to see the output here. It says 29 is a prime number. Okay, let me try for um, eight. Eight is not a prime number, I know, so I will just run this and it says it is not a prime number. That's good, so we got this code here, right? So this is code generated by the AI. But let's say if I want to write a test case for this and if I want to know what are the test cases can be, so it will give you the test case here. Now the project is not structured to create those test cases folder. But if you have a proper structure, I think it will also give you the code inside the folder. But you can see, we got all the possible test cases here, okay? Uh, what if you want to understand this code? And this will be amazing if you are getting some code from the GitHub, some, some other code repository, and you want to know what is happening, you can simply say explain, it will explain the code for you. So you can see it says it's, I mean, okay, so my project is done on VS Code. Let me go back to IntelliJ because we were doing something there. And look at this, it is explaining the code for you. Isn't it amazing? So if you have a thought here by saying, hey, you know, anyone can do this, even now you don't have to learn a programming language or a framework, AI will give you that. Of course, AI will give you the code, but if you want to change something, you have to understand what it is giving you, right? These explanations are good, but a non-programmer will not understand what is happening here. So you have to learn a programming language, you have to understand the uh, a framework. Example, if I go back to VS Code now, this is the project given by your AI tool. But if you don't understand the frameworks, the Spring framework, you have no idea why something is happening somewhere. Example, if I go back to controller, we are using AutoWired here. But if you don't know Spring framework, you have no idea what AutoWired is here. And if you want to make any changes, you are stuck there, okay? Uh, example here, we are using method reference. What is method reference? You have no idea. So that's the thing. You have to learn a language. You have to learn a framework to actually build a project. What is Copilot, all this AI tool? Just a helping hand, nothing much. Okay, so you can see we got the code here. There are some issues with the linking, but that can be resolved. It, it, there's some, some issue with the Java extension for this thing. I don't think there's nothing. Okay, maybe I have to open all the files once. Then it should detect. So I've opened the student service and student service has this methods. Okay, now this is a, there's a mismatch. You can, uh, I'm just testing in front of you. So there's a mismatch. It says there's a create student method here, but in the service it is creating a add student method. Okay, AI is not perfect yet. Okay, so there's something you have to change, but I'm sure in the upcoming years, this will be resolved. Uh, this problem will not be there for sure. But yeah, it will, ha it will have some new problems which will come up, come up. Look at the test cases. In the test cases, it's not just JUnit, we also have a Mockito there, if you can see. It's using a mock MVC, okay? So mocking is also been done. So as a developer, you don't have to stress much. It's just that you should know what is happening. Now, since I know these technologies, I can jump on any file, I can know what is happening there. But let's say if I'm building a project in PHP. Now I'm not an expert in PHP, I know the basics of it. But if I ask AI to give me a PHP project and say, make changes, it will take some time for me to understand what's going on. Okay, so don't run away from learning these technologies. In future, AI will be there, but even developers will be needed. You just have to compete with the developers who don't use AI. Okay, so look at the configuration. Things are looking good. So you can see it, it has given you, given you the configuration files as well, which takes some time to set it up. You can run this project and see if it is working or not. Few things I want to verify if the version of Spring Boot. So it is Spring Boot version 2.5 it is using. Maybe I want to use Spring Boot 3. So I have to change this and few few files. Maybe when I created this project, I, I should have mentioned, I want a Spring Boot 3 project. Then it should have made sense. Anyway, but how do we get these tools? Maybe in future, I will make some more videos on how do we use this efficiently as a developer, what are the things you should know about AI tool, and when to use it, when not to use it. But before that, I have to use it for my project. 
So I will make a video. But here, uh, what are the extensions you need? So basically, if you want the uh, Copilot in your machine, you need to install GitHub Copilot. You need the account by trial or by paying it. And once you install this plugin, it will give you a prompt, you know, sign up or sign in for your GitHub account. When you do that, you will get the access. Okay, that's one uh, on uh, VS Code. If you want to get it in IntelliJ, again, the same thing. You have to go to IntelliJ settings and plugins and search for, I already have GitHub Copilot. So go to marketplace, search for GitHub Copilot and you'll be good. So yeah, that's it from this video where we have explored the AI tool. But as I mentioned before, you cannot run away from it, Gen AI. And also you cannot stay, and you cannot say that you don't need to learn programming or, or the frameworks in this AI world. You have to, at least for next few years. So yeah, that's it from this video. And if you have any more questions on this, please let me know. I will make another video about my experiences. And once you try it, I want to know your experience in the chat or in the comments. Bye-bye.